CMPD is seeking solutions to make sure children and families have the resources they need to recover after a traumatic incident. A countywide program called the Child Development Community Policing Program, or CDCP, started in the 90s, but now South Charlotte policing partners like Pineville Police have taken it live after a year of training. WCNC Charlotte's Colin Mayfield is here to explain why this is so important. Colin? Yeah, a bit of positive news from our departments here. CDCP first introduced here in Mecklenburg County in 1996, one of the first cities at the time to institute it. Now, 20 years later, more than 2,200 officers have been trained. That's accounting for nearly the entire CMPD force, including officers from Huntersville, Davidson, Cornelius, and the newest department now, Pineville. Sometimes it's just as simple as a referral, or sometimes it's, hey, we got something big on scene. We need people out here. Sergeant Josh Harb knows just how hard the job can be when there's a child who witnesses violence. Time is of the essence. That's why Pineville Police have joined the county's child development community policing approach. He knows the importance of that mental health plays in everything that we do. The program is a collaboration between trained police officers and clinicians to respond to violence and other traumas immediately. That starts with an officer arriving on scene, recognizing the potential psychological trauma for a child or family and calling a clinician. We don't walk away wondering what happened or worrying about that child anymore. Now we know that they're, they're getting good care after this, this horrible thing happened. There are 13 clinicians embedded within CMPD's 13 patrol divisions, and they've added outfits like Huntersville and Pineville to expand service. The officer-clinician relationship offers specialized care to help a victim get to a safe place and prevent serious issues that could affect the child later in life. Recognize, hey, there's something here. We're not, we can't fix it, but we know who can. Get the scene safe getting them in touch with the person that can help them. Stacy Butler, director of the program, explains it's a proactive approach with the community at the center and giving officers an added resource to make the job a bit easier. Having partners who who are experts at, at something that connects to our work, um, it makes all of us better. Butler says the officers are making it possible for every child, every family to have this follow up free of charge. It's the effort of officers like Sergeant Harb who are looking for better ways to respond to the evolving community. You know, we're getting very, very good response from the community seeing that we're out here trying to do this. That initial contact isn't it. Each clinician in an incident actually conducts follow ups for as long as needed. Since the start of this program, nearly 72,000 families have been referred for help with an average of two children per family. So think about that for a second. Matthews and Min Hill are preparing to join the county's program as well. Fred and Vanessa, back to you. Yeah, just really um, a recognition of right. the full impact that, you know, a traumatic incident can have on the community and also just the wide range of solutions you need to fix it. And the work that our police departments are doing around the area. It's good to see as well. Indeed.